Hey guys, Daniel Zero, how you doing? <laughs> My rooster's doing well, can you tell? <laughs> I hope all is well in YouTube land, whatever part of the world that you are in. All right, let's talk about uh, pheasants for a second and why I chose pheasants uh, over quail. Um, I have ringneck pheasants. Um, they are considered to be a wild game bird. So here in Ohio, where I live in southern Ohio, I had to get a permit from uh, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources in order to keep and propagate uh, the ringneck pheasants. So if you're looking to get uh, into pheasants or raise pheasants, you're going to need to check with your local department of wildlife stuff, whatever it's called in your, uh, in your state, to see whether or not you're going to need a, uh, a permit to keep them. So, all right, let's go look at my pheasants so you don't got to look at my ugly mug while I'm talking. So what we've got is, like I said, ringneck pheasants. Oh, look, there's an egg. Woohoo! Thank you, girls. Now, I chose pheasants over quail for uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, the main reason is is they're uh, they're a larger bird. They taste very similar to quail. Uh, they are really really a, a really good meat bird. They eat very little. They're pretty quiet except for in the springtime when the roosters are cackling, trying to get the ladies' attention. Uh, they're they're like I said, they're really easy to take care of. Um, they're they're big you know i i if i was raising quail quail are small birds and i can eat them like popcorn man and it would take a lot to feed we have a large family uh six people that eat here so it would take quite a bit of quail to to keep it going whereas you know a couple of pheasants will do us for a meal um not only that is uh during the winter time pheasants only lay eggs in the spring uh, they'll lay for the four to six weeks in the spring months, uh, one egg usually per hen per day. So that'll give us a chance in the spring to uh, to incubate the eggs and hatch them out. And also we have the uh, the opportunity to sell either uh, fertilized pheasant eggs, uh, pheasant chicks, or breeding pairs. That gives us a chance to make a little bit of extra money. You can also do that with quail eggs. But uh, I, I don't know much about quail. I don't know if they lay year-round or what, but in the wintertime... I like to keep a skeleton crew around here. I don't like to have a lot of extra mouths to feed during the uh, during the winter when feed is scarce. So that's another reason why I like the pheasants because you know they they the springtime is whenever they lay and is whenever they propagate. And I don't want to have uh, anything throughout the winter time that we're going to have to deal with. Our chickens give us plenty of eggs, so we don't need the eggs to uh, to eat. And uh, so you know we're we're doing good as far as the egg production goes with our laying with our laying hens. Uh, we've got two pheasant pins right now in the springtime. We've got this upper pin up here where I'm at now, and then they're down there below. There's another pin that's got two hens and uh, a rooster in that. We did this uh, so we can get most, you know, the, the most eggs, fertilized eggs that we can to incubate out some more. Uh, they've been laying for, I guess, about mm, two weeks now, maybe, somewhere around in there. And we've gotten about 60 eggs total so far, uh, fertilized eggs. We got 48 in the incubator, and we've got some set aside that we're going to uh, that we're going to give to some friends so that they can try to hatch out some of their pheasants uh, if they are interested in them. So there you have it. That's just a couple of the reasons why I chose pheasants. I mean, if you live in town and you have just you know a small corner of your garage, or you have small cages, then yes, by all means, uh, quail would be the way to go because they take up less space. Um, but I have the extra space here on, on our little homestead. I had the space to raise pheasants. Uh, so that is why, you know, like I said, that's, those are some of the reasons why I chose to raise pheasants versus quail. Uh, because, you know, with, with my large family that I have, you know, we would have to have probably uh, 12 to 15 quail to make a good meal versus uh, just two uh, pheasants in order to make a good meal for everybody. So there you have it, guys. Thank you, Missy, for the egg. So, uh, I know there's folks out there who are trying to, to uh, figure out, do I want to raise quail, do I want to raise pheasants, do I want to raise chickens, uh, and these are just some of the reasons why I chose pheasants over quail, and I hope it helps. Uh, you guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Um, any questions or comments or advice, feel free. Uh, God bless. Nian. Buzz, buzz, the end.